Index HTML Editor provides you with advanced built-in features that can easily be customized to fit your needs. Don't like the predefined toolbars? You can create your own. Don't like the default theme? Pick one of the existing predefined styles or create your own. And finally, easily provide your users with powerful spell checking functionality for multiple languages. In this video, we'll take a look at the customization options available in the ASPX HTML editor and demonstrate how to set up and configure the spell checking functionality. So let's get started. I'll start with a new ASP.NET website that has a blank web form. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress Common Controls group and drag and drop a new ASPX HTML editor control onto the form. You can see that the control has automatically created several user controls that are used to display the forms at runtime. These forms are used across the application for inserting a URL, an image, or spelling suggestions. You can further customize these forms so they fit your needs. Next, I click to open the smart tag. From here, you can change the theme of the control, modify the toolbars, as well as enable and disable the content view tabs at the bottom. You can see that by unchecking a view, the designer automatically updates the view of the control. There are also a set of standard events available. Similar to all DevExpress ASP.NET components, there are also a set of client-side events. From the smart tag, I invoke the auto format window. Here I can select a predefined theme that can be applied to the HTML editor component. You can see the several different types of themes available. For this demo, I'll select soft orange. You can immediately see the preview to the right. I click OK and the theme is applied to the control on the form. I can use the toolbars editor to replace the default toolbars with new custom ones. Now let's run the application to look at some of the runtime features. You can see the new theme is applied to all the components used within the HTML editor. I click the insert image button that enables me to add an image from a web URL or upload it from my computer. This is one example of the user controls that I demonstrated earlier. You can, of course, modify this to fit your application needs. Now let's take a look at the built-in spell checking mechanism. I type a sentence with a misspelled word in it. Upon clicking the spell check button, I'm presented with an error. This is okay because I've not specified any dictionaries for the spell checker. So let's close the web browser and set up an English dictionary. The dictionary can be specified through the controls settings spell checker property collection. Let's open the project folder and copy the folder containing the free open office dictionary and grammar files. Back in Visual Studio, I'll refresh the solution so the new folder is included in the website. Next, I expand the Settings Spell Checker group and invoke the Dictionaries Collection Editor. You can see that I can add a simple dictionary, a custom dictionary, an iSpell dictionary, as well as an open office dictionary. I select the appropriate item and a new dictionary entry is added. I'll set the dictionary path and grammar path properties accordingly. Finally, the language culture is set to English, United States. I click OK to close the editor. Let's run the application one more time to see the spell checker in action. Here, I'll again type in a sentence with a misspelling. I click the spell check button and the word is detected as being a typo. I can select the desired suggestions and click change so that the misspelled word is replaced within the editor. For more information, please refer to the ASPX HTML editor documentation on the web. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.